Hang on one minute. Are you telling me that I'm not disappearing again for a while and I'm actually here? No way. Oh, there I am. I was like, wait, am I actually going to appear or not? Like, but yeah, I'm back. Um, did I? I don't think I did. I I know I was just doing a few bits there off uh, stream, but that was because I'm listening to fucking the present day eyes again, but they're like actually singing songs and stuff and fucking <laughs> the weirdest sentence going to come out of my mouth. I didn't think Donald Trump had that range in singing. Like, bruv. Th those fucking, like, especially if you listen to, like, the kickback cover, depending which one you listen to, it's fucking madness how good his vocal range is in that, like, song in particular. Um, let me just double check. Yeah, so let me just, I forgot to get rid of this. So I'm just going to do this first, and then we'll actually play more of the captain. I just need to move this little bit of text. And then put it here instead. Um, let's see. We take that follower goal. To be fair, I did just put the stream as just chatting, so I could do this for a little bit longer until we get into the game. Um, oh yeah, and then there's so for a limited time. Next follower uh, goal event is uh, TBA. Because I don't really know if I want to do a. 4th of July one or not, or if I just want to leave it there. Like, if I have a good idea of what I could do for 4th of July follower goals, then I'll do it, but, like, right now I don't really have much. Actually, let me make sure that saves first, because sometimes Twitch has, like, a tendency to just not save changes, and it's really annoying. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'll put that down here. So now the uh, hoodie t-shirt goal is good. Well, I say... Yeah, swap hoodie for a t-shirt is now going to be benched. At least until, um, winter. Returns, I'll say, like, maybe September. Time. Actually, you know, I won't even say when it returns. I think I'll just leave it as it is. And then go from there. Because, like, there's not really need for, like, me to change the shirt back to the hoodie so soon. Or, like, leave it in the, um, follower goals thing. Because, like, there's a lot of different, um, uh, whatchamacallit, follower goal Yoki Mabobs here. Oh, should I? I probably should do that with the thing boy model as well, femboy model. Yeah, actually, I'm going to bench the femboy one as well. Just because, like, it was already done. And plus, there is a follower goal to bring back a follower goal. So if people want that back, they can get it back, uh... Benched milestone goal. Do that. I'm sorry, I, I should have done all this earlier, but I didn't really think about it. Uh, get that. Put that there. Do that. That was, yeah, should be grand anyway. I'm just doing bits. Actually, wait. Yeah, my mic is working right before we start. Yeah, it's the right mic. Okay. <laughs> Imagine, like, it goes back to the webcam mic. Yeah, okay, I've changed that. That's grand where it is. Oh, that's different. Um, yes, I'm moving this one. Uh, so, 165. This is 170. FG. And then, actually, I'll take this little bit as well. Because it is a milestone goal as well. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, I think I'll leave a gap between that because having it like so close to each other just makes no sense. There we go. Yeah, so then that's the lists. Uh, follow goals not in rotation. I mean, actually, I could get rid of the bench part. So maybe, nah, because I've already named the thing bench, so I might as well leave it as that. Or, actually, I could retitle this. And besides, if anybody ever wants to ask me like, what they are, I can always tell them. Like, it's not really that hard to describe what the bench follower goals are. Let me actually just go up the thing real quick where it talks. Randomly select an epic game store. Oh, yeah, because uh, that's back down now to 164. Playing our playthrough of the captain. Play a insert or place a insert emoji name here on me. We'll be decided before hitting the goal. Actually, I'll get rid of that part. I just. Yeah, you can, like, in the future, we'll decide what's that up with that. 
wear a face mask. I think I'm just going to put a PNG on my face for that one, to be honest. Uh, milestone goal. The, oh, yeah, that's a weird one. It's like, become a cat boy, but I'm technically already that, right? I guess it's just like, I must have thought of a whole outfit idea for that. Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I can think of it now. Yeah, I'll... Yeah, that's going to be fun when, <laughs> whenever I do that. Um, oh, Miles Morales New Game Plus, if I haven't gone back to it. Reintroduce bench follower goal. Play off a voice mod filter for part of a stream. Play God of War New Game Plus. Basically another excuse for me to play God of War again, honestly. Uh, let's see, exist in the digital green realm. If last month I was active, this will be paused. Actually, I'll just get rid of that part as well. Again, I can always explain that on stream, like, why shit is the way it is. Glow for a few uh, streams, <laughs> spill ketchup on my face. Uh, fiddle with a Rubik's Cube and probably don't solve it. Hand cam stream, basically. Give me white hair. Uh, silhouette for... I like the way it's, like, for a streams. Um, I say for a stream. Yeah, I, I don't think that'd be too entertaining to be a silhouette for multiple streams, like... Give me a normal uh, hog. It's a different variant. Basically, it's just not the heart one. That's what I wanted to get through on that. Trench coat's back again. Because I never actually wore just the default trench coat. That's why I put it back there. Uh, okay, the Overwatch 2 goal. We're actually going to take that one out. Because I actually don't want to touch Overwatch 2 anymore. It's just it's my own personal opinion, really. That stopped me from playing it. Um, oh! <laughs> Yeah, go on. M move that goal up, Joe. The fucking, uh, what should we call it? The Epic Games Spin the Wheel goal. Actually, you know, actually, I way prefer that. There you go. So now at 147, instead of playing an Overwatch 2 comp game, it's randomly select an Epic Game Store game to play for half an hour. I agree with that. Uh, order a box soon, and show its contents on stream. Milestone goal, uh, gender bend me back to Josie again. I kind of want to take that one out as well, because, like, we didn't... It doesn't feel like too long ago when we did that. Hold on, let me just double check on that. Around the world, around the world. Uh, let me go to my own channel because I'm narcissistic and I need to see how I'm doing. Come on. This one here. Wow, wow. Actually, to be fair, maybe it is quite a while ago. I'm just looking out for the thumbnail now. Where, like, I'm Josie again. Let's see. It was back during... Oh, we're getting there. And this one. Three months ago? What? No way was it three months ago. Yeah, 26th of February is when the VOD was uploaded anyway. That is so weird. I didn't think it'd be that far back, honestly. Oh yeah, the countdown timer's still red because it was Valentine's event. That's still there. The text at the bottom's still big. Yeah, no, I'm just... It's mad when you look back in the past and see these sort of bits. Anyway. Um, ah, fuck. I guess I'll just leave it there. Because if I move... Actually, no. I'm going to bench that as well. I need to give room for, like, other stuff to play out first. And then we'll reintroduce old goals that are benched. And I need to have more, uh, what do we call it, follower goals that are like, uh, you know, bringing back benched follower goals and all that. So we're going to put that one there. Uh, let's see, bring back the eye bags. Finally remove the eye bags for good. Um, oh, yes, yes, I agree with this. Yes, Joe, bring it up. Bring her up. So now instead of, uh, what do we call it, gender bending again. Cosplay as Sherry Arbor. And you know for a fact that's going to be for seven streams. That is not going to be a single stream. That's seven streams. Like, um, 145. Not too shabby. Let's see. Play a Resident Evil remake professional for a stream. So we'd probably... Um, I'll say hardcore. Hardcore slash professional. Because like... If it's a, like one of the other Resident Evil games, like maybe I'll spin the wheel or something instead to do that. We might have to play just hardcore in the other ones, but for uh, Resident Evil 4, it'd be professional because we already did hardcore uh, in Japanese and all that. 
I feel like for the second playthrough of the or the third playthrough of the game at that point, I just play it in another language. And then for the other games, I'd also switch those to Japanese as well if they have the option. Let's see, 142. Tier list, most of my VTuber models. I do still have a lot of the files that like my models are in, so that's actually possible, but it's just going to be a pain in the ass to get them all. It's just screenshot literally every single one of them and then like maybe label them as well, just so I have an idea of which one's which, like. Uh, cut my hair again. Yeah, I guess I could get how, do with another haircut, so I'll leave that for now. Because, like, for the haircut one, that kind of just ramps up until we get to this, like, stage of, like, basically skin fade for a few days and then go bald, I, I guess, at some point, like, for a few streams. Okay, maybe bald's just one stream. Anyway, give me shining eyes. Um, Yeah, sure, we can leave that there. Grey... Blonde eyebrows. Oh, yeah, because I had blonde hair, but I never had blonde eyebrows that time. Uh, remove my eye bags for a worried look for a bit. Yeah, that actually would be gas. Like, that's a new one. Give me shark teeth. The shark teeth, to be honest, won't even really be noticeable. Because, like, I mean, I'm not really zooming in on my face all the time, but it's still going to be a thing anyway. <laughs> like, uh, let's see, milestone gold. Oh, yeah, that's the next milestone gold. The uh, May dress returns, but it's either purple or blue. And then I'm going to probably have that in again. Depending on which color we get, like, chosen or not. Again, that's probably going to be, like, a spin-the-wheel kind of scenario as well. Just because it's, like, a very little amount of uh, words that I have to type into the wheel as well. Uh, randomly choose a stream or a Steam game to play for half an hour. Of course, not 18+. plus Or something gambling-related or something I just can't play on Twitch because it's been banned. Uh, play Destiny 2 competitive. That wouldn't be too bad, I guess. But, like, I'm not really playing too much Destiny nowadays, to be honest. And then the next current goal is, if I don't return to it, continue Jump King New Bay Plus for part of a stream. It's most likely just going to be a stream. And, of course, we have the current follower goal, which is, uh, give me back my cat ears. And we're on, like, five of seven streams of that. So this is, oh, no, this is the sixth stream, yeah. Anyway, sorry, I had to go over all that. Wait. Quit out of that. And let me actually load the captain as well. I gotta remember... I think I'll leave... Maybe I will install it somewhere. I don't know. I, I might even play... That game that I have here. Demonologist's demo. But, I don't know. It'd be something different to do on a stream. And then, like, as well as that, I've realised as well... Like... <laughs> so I'm, I, it's not proud to admit, but I have played a bit more of Genjin recently. I haven't really touched Honkai. Uh, da, da, da. Actually, I want to move that down there because, like, it's not really, it's, like, it's not really a game. It's just kind of a launcher. Uh, need to return to Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted at some point. We need to complete that before the second one comes out. Of course, Jump King's still there. Need to uninstall that. Miles Morales. I should probably uninstall that for now and then just reinstall it in the future. Dark Deception. That's the other game I need to return to as well at some point. And then Power Wash is kind of just there if I ever want to just talk. Like, maybe if I do a live podcasting with someone, I'll just play Power Wash whilst they are. <laughs> like, we chat and all that. Continue. So, last of what I remember on the captain is that we were playing and we were in prison and we did a bunch of stuff and now we have a new crewmate. Oh, yeah, and we're on this planet now trying to do bits for your man here. Uh, what's the second task? Just need some information. We suspect that one of our friends uh, on the street is leaking information to the planetary police. I want you to find out who it is and also secure some hard evidence of it. You want me to expo expose an undercover cop? Pig. Undercover pig. Is that a problem? I'm not sure. So how about it? <laughs> I don't want to do that right now. Okay, I'll do it. Great. We currently have three friends on the payroll working here at Alien Square. The first one is a gentleman called Dank. He is the big bloke selling papers and soda in the small stand next to the magnificent statue of Mr. Bossman. Okay, a statue. The two other suspects are uh, Lena Fleeman and her sidekick Corbin. Lena works somewhere on Alien Square. You can ask Dank about her. He usually keeps track of her. About Corbin, I have no idea where he is, but he has a, po po a ponytail and usually wears an ugly brown leather jacket. How am I supposed to flush out the dirty one? I don't know these people. That's why you are perfect. Someone they haven't seen before. But they won't exactly trust me on sight, will they? 
No problem there. We have a secret code system in place to simplify communication between us. Just walk up to them and say, Reindeers like to eat bananas. Excuse me? That's our code for the moment. Reindeers like to eat bananas. Impregnable. Uh, okay, so what do I do? I guess I could try to plant some false information and see how they react. Okay, I think I got it. Great, come back when you know who it is. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot. I keep like putting like my hands on my um like keys thinking I can move around, but I can't. Go on, Captain. Out the door we go now. So this is Oh no, yeah, he's not there. Cause that is the bossman statue, isn't it? Yeah, bossman. There's meant to be a guy around here. Oh no, wait, it's this guy, isn't it? The store clerk. Hi there. Hi, what can I get you? Reindeers like to eat bananas. Oh, you're one of us. Yeah, I just got recruited. That's nice. Welcome aboard. I guess you want to see the exclusive selection of my unsorted merchandise. Let's see now. I currently have a beautiful duplication of the well-known blue heart necklace. One unused unit of the brand new listening device, Ear Buddy 2000 Government Edition. Anything you find interesting? Um, how much for a listing device? For you, only 80 credits. Maybe that, we might need that, to be honest. I feel like that would actually be useful. I'll take it. That's like the first item I've actually bought. Uh, you, so what on Sword? Have you heard the latest rumor? Um, do you know Lena? Of course, where they are. Seems to be off somewhere. His spot is usually over there at the alley just past Tower 65. Uh, Lena should be in her office. Card number one on the golden rail. God, I'm going to forget that, honestly. Um, have you heard the latest rumor? No? This room would lower next to your uh, rates. Our mutual friend suspects the planetary police has infiltrated us. There's going to be a large shipment of stone goods arriving at the North Bay in about an hour. Maybe that would be better. There's always shipments coming and going into the Lime City. Oh, well, cool. Um, have you heard the latest rumor? Do you know Central Bank is rumored to lower next year's mortgage interest? Yes. Fine, I'll be honest then. Have you heard there's a bleeding undercover uh, cop like? None of my business. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. If that's none of your business and you're an associate of ours, maybe. Just maybe. So he was saying by building. Oh, wait, that's the. Uh, this. Yeah, tower. Oh, so that's... It's not down the alley, is it? It could be inside here, but I'm going to check the alley and probably get stabbed. But, you know, it is how it is, like. You got to do stuff to prove your worth, you know? Oh, can actually get into... Oh, I forgot. I can go into trash cans and get more money from them. Oh, is that it? Oh, wait. Generate, perhaps. I don't see anything interesting about it. Oh wait, power box. It's fuse box for street lights. I better not touch this. Okay. I guess that was nothing. There's a man, trash can. Yeah, trash can. Actually, no. First we'll go inside and then we'll go from there. Don't bother me. Oh, okay, cool. Hotel. Kitchen helper wanted. I guess not. Let's see. I guess I'll go back down here. I know there was something about the number one. I think it was up here we're meant to go or some shit. Actually, I'll go here first. And then I might go to there as well. Is this like a farming area? Can I just farm for currency here? <laughs> That's what it kind of feels like, to be honest. 
Um, actually, yeah, the, your man wasn't here, was he? No, that's just him. That's grand. I, I honestly kind of don't like how it keeps like zooming me in and out, like, or zooming me out, should I say? Oh, wait, sorry, wrong machine. There we go. Oh, yeah. Keep forgetting this mechanic where you have to pull it out from your thing. Right, how much money we got? I think we're just making our money back slowly. Okay, but, like, I want to just go this way. Can I go in? Enter train. Oh, yeah, in one, in one. I'm pretty sure they were saying something about the first thing there. There you are. Hey there, stranger. You look lost. Perhaps I am. I'm looking for a Lena Fleeman. Speaking, so what do you want? Reindeers like to eat bananas. Wow, you know the password. What is on your mind, stud? Uh, Corban, do you know him? Uh, what, so what do you do here? Uh, let's just ask one by one. Yeah, of course, he's my coordinator. Do you know where he is? He should be down by Tower 65 scouting for clients. We were just there, though, weren't we? What do you want with him? Just want to talk to him, I say. So what do, uh, do you do here? Oh, on, on this train, you mean? Well, it keeps you warm and the seats are really soft. Some say the rhythm of the train is beneficial for your career. But perhaps the strongest reason is the absence of cops. Have you heard the latest rumor? Uh, our mutual friend suspects that planetary police have infiltrated. There's, maybe, I say that one. Yeah, I know. Rog is such a suspicious man. Oh, okay. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, no, okay. I feel like we're not going to get much farther from this, like. But you're boring me. Oh. There's label on it. Can I look in? I cannot open it. It seems to be locked. Is he just going to say that for all of them? Nah, fuck this. We're doing every single one of these. One of these are going to be open and it's going to have something in it, like. Oh, yeah. I didn't even mention. Yesterday, like, I went out to see the new Spider-Man film and it was actually fucking banging. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to spoil too much about it, but, like, the animation's really good. And the story's pretty good as well, like. Oh, excuse me. Right, I didn't get much from her. Your first man was like, none of my business. She was like, yeah, I know. But then again, what if she's like, saying that for the sake of saying that? And then she said something about your man here now being by Tower 65, right? Unless, like, are you in the alleyway now? Unless she said a different number or something, and not 65, but... Yeah, no. Oh, that's a Jaws poster. <laughs> I don't... I've literally never seen the film, but I recognise the cover art for Jaws. Like, it's the shark just here and the Jaws title here. That's mad when you think about that, how I just recognise that. Actually, wait, what about this guy? I never actually checked that guy. Wait, no, not pod reservation, just the trash can, please. Bro, literally every time I go in and out of the building or something, I just should go loot everything. I might have something to sell. High tech, listen to us a second thought, I think I'll pass. Should I? <laughs> nah. Like, if I don't use it, maybe, but... Okay, so... We need to question the last guy here. Just to see... Who's the one now that we need to question. How? 
<laughs> just listen. Maybe it's this guy. Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go into the kitchen. <laughs> it's just like literally going everywhere, but like thing, you know. Hey, you cannot come in here with, uh, without your work clothes. Get out. Oh, never mind. It's not a thing. Wait, do I actually... Wait. It's a dressing screen. Could be where employees change outfits. You think you'd go up to it now? <laughs> Just keep bothering him. I haven't actually heard much from the ship in ages. Yeah? And it is how it should proceed. Don't you think it's wrong to expose a policeman? I seriously don't understand the question. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. I didn't read this sentence because I thought it was the same shit. Not really, but I hope I f uh, you find the snitch. Oh yeah, Jeff is... <laughs> just. I love the way they keep Jeff in my watch even though he's literally not with us anymore. Oh, there he is. Was he there before? Hi. Well, hello, sir. Reindeers like to eat bananas. Oh, you're one of us. Some company, at least. So how's business? Well, okay, I guess. I just feel left alone out here on the street. I never get to know anything about what goes around anymore. To be honest, I often feel a bit bored just standing here. Do you want me to give you some inside information? Yeah, sure. Uh... Mr. Rock suspected the Planetary Police have infiltrated us. What? I'm... I mean... Did he say who he suspected? Nah. Okay, good. Hope they catch that pig and teach him a lesson. Uh... Okay, so... The fucking... Guy... To be fair, this guy is probably keeping his distance. Because, like... He's like the, uh, undercover cop. Oh no, but then again, you work with Thing, and this... I don't think it'd be the store guy. I think the store guy is clear. It's between the one on the train and Corbin here. If I were to guess anyway, who is who? Um, I have to decide now before I go up to him. Oh, you, there you go. I was going to be like, are you still walking here or what? Like, <sighs> Corbin or your one on the train? Hi, Rock. How's it going? Have you found any evidence? Oh, yeah, wait. I haven't even found evidence, have I? Uh, not yet. Well, come back to me when... Okay, I forgot I needed evidence as well. Oh, maybe I'm meant to just go from one to the other just to see, like... You know, talk to them about each other and see who's gonna, like... Say what about who? Uh, what sort of items do you have for sale? What do you have? I currently have view from it, and that's all there is down there. Anything interesting? I think I'll pass for the moment. Don't want anything right now. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? The one guy, like. They sold you the item and you just use it on them, like. No! <sighs> Balls. Okay, I'm not exactly going to do thing. I'm just going to do this. Hold on. Hi, Corbin. Don't, don't mind me. Okay, yeah. Maybe I do just need to wait for the train. Maybe it wouldn't be any harm if I had picked up a few cans. Never mind. No, we're going straight up. Come on, Tommy. Straight up to Stoira. A grit led a hole. There, yeah, you can go in. There you go. It's <laughs> just like, please. Sorry, just, uh, just, you know, just, uh, don't mind me, just, uh, doing my thing. <laughs> That's it, really? 
how do I, how do I even prove this? I feel like I can bug like with the actual listening device, but I don't know. I think he's just more suspicious than the others. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah, I forgot I'm still in the thing. I was wondering why I couldn't move the screen yet. Come on. I get that on the way. I want to get this and then go into the recycle machine again. Lovely jubbly. Oh, yeah, I forgot I need to... Honestly, it's really annoying. Like, the like supermarket close to me is, like, reshuffling all their, like inventory and stuff and they've got rid of sections of the shop that I just have not been put back up yet it's just annoying because like they've rejigged the whole place and now you need to remember it again like what's what it's just a rumor harsh segment about an hour really are you sure oh it is it's Corbin because like because the other two was like, this shit happens all the time, but this guy's like, are you sure? Yep. Where did you hear this? A friend told me. What friend? Uh, he is a friend to a friend of my cousin. <laughs> hmm, sounds legit. South Bay, you said. North Bay. North Bay. That's what he told me. Thanks for the intel. If you hear anything else from the friend or your friend's cousin, you will keep me updated, right? For sure. You'll have to excuse me. I've got some business to attend to. Hmm. Yeah, what's I what I said, yeah. No, they didn't suspect a thing. Oh, gotta go. Hi again. Didn't see you come in here. Well, see you later. Hmm. That was a bit strange. Maybe I should put this to the man in the bar. I maybe I could have used a little recording device on him before then, but I don't think it's saved, so I'm not gonna bother. Hopefully your man will just take me for my word, and if he doesn't then I'm off back into space and I'm just going to forget about this storyline. Ah. Maybe if I loot the other ones, there'll be something? Really? Damn, I looted this place too fast, like. There we go, we found something. Captain, we found something. A single can. Yo, Rog, I know you're probably not going to believe me because I'm just some random guy, but yeah, it's your boy Corbin. Um, acts a little bit strange before. Really? In what way? Well, I told him some made-up story about a shipment coming in and he went into the alley right away to make a phone call. Hmm. It's not that strange, but it might be worth looking into, I guess. See if you can record his phone call or something. I need some real evidence before I can take action. Yeah, see, I was going to say, like, the recorder yoke we have actually is handy now. <laughs> Imagine if I just didn't have money and I had to just keep farming cans, like. Or, oh, that's why the hotel's there as well, so you can get a job and get money. Uh, you know, actually, Corbin, it's actually um, in an hour's, or, like, less than an hour's time. <laughs> Trust. Trust a guy that's just making up shit to you all the time. Why did you go that way? You could have gone that way, but nah. You had to be awkward. I might have to give up on the bins. It's like the moment I think about actually looting them more is the moment they're like, nah. There's actually no cans left, bro. Inside information. Uh, there's going to be yet another large shipment of soul goods arriving at the North Bay in an hour. Really? Thanks for the information. You'll have to excuse me. I've got some business to attend to. I guess I need to enter the alley and then do it? No. I'm doing something wrong. Oh, yeah, I was fucking, I knew it. I was meant to actually, like, how much is he going to believe me, though, if I keep saying this shit over and over? 
Ah, here. There must be somewhere I can put this, right? Because, like, there was no way to plant the device beforehand. Wait, hold on. Load. Got the location of Corbin. No. There is no... Wait. Yeah, no, I don't think I can place it anywhere. Because I thought, like, maybe if I stood outside the alley or something and then placed the device here or some shit, something would happen. <laughs> no, seriously, how many times will he fall for it? Really? Thanks for the information. Okay, so I need to do something here now. Let's just go like here. Put down. Okay, and now what? I'm guessing I just leave it to do its thing. Or do I pick it up before anything? I don't know. Yeah, he didn't suspect it being there for some reason. Let's see here. Tells me it has picked up and recorded just a few seconds since deployment. Nothing of interest on here, though. What do you mean? How do I, I legit can't drop it as I'm going to? Oh, you. That's definitely not obvious. Hold on. It's picked up thing. Nothing. Um, can I? Can I seriously not like do it near the bin or something? Bro, that's way too obvious, like. Fuck it, I'll just, you know, actually, I'll just leave it there. Why not? <laughs> Your man's not going to suspect the fucking beeping at all, swear down. I actually forgot you can drop items like that. And then I assume maybe if I just go here, because like he's gonna leave anyway. Gotta go. Oh, that was different dialogue as well. Hi again. Didn't see you come here. Well, see you later. Well, well, well. Looks like the device has recorded something. If I push this button, it should write out a transcript of the conversation that took place. There we go. Oh my. That ponytail guy is a cop. It sure sounds like he is knee-deep in this. I wonder what will happen to the poor man when I tell Rog. Uh, look, it's not the most morally questionable thing we've done in this entire playthrough. Like, there's been more worse decisions I've made. Like, a fucking snitching on an alien is not that bad. That's different, isn't it? I don't remember that being there. But maybe that's just me. Wait, was I? Oh no, you can't go in there. Damn, you're taking forever now. Boss, I found something. I found the agent yet? Yes. It's Corbin, the ponytail guy. He reports to his chief by phone in the alley next to Tower 65. Oh, Corbin, you say? That freaking scum. What will happen to him? Don't worry about that. We'll handle it. Come back to me when you are ready for the third and final assignment. Oh. Exposed him. Oh, I could have just kept him secret as well. Was the third and final task. Ah. Uh, well, I need you to reclaim a particular item for me. It was stolen from the organization by a lying no good thief last year. That scumbag is arriving in town later today, and I want you to take it back. So how about it? Yeah, sure. Good answer. His name is gondolas and a uh, rumor on the street says he will check in to tower 65 shortly what kind of item do you want me to reclaim well let's just say it's a sub-zero particle recorder of sorts and in the wrong hands it can be very dangerous and his hands are the wrong hands 
Damn right it is. Those fat, filthy, chocolate-covered fingers can ruin such a delicate machine. How will I know what the machine looks like? I would describe its appearance as some type of kitchen device, maybe. I don't know. You'll know when you see it. So, do you have any advice for me? I'm pretty new to this burglary business. Well, sure, why not? We know that this fat fr uh, frack can't stay away from the, uh, the sweets. Perhaps you could serve him a dessert a la siesta, if you know what I mean. And then you just go in and snatch the thing from his room. Yeah, I know what you mean, good. I can. I could also lend you something, something not entirely legal. Sounds shady. We have at, a ta uh, we have at times found ourselves in need of keeping an eye on guests staying at the hotel. So we have developed a simple spy device to assist us with this. What is it? Oh, you'll see. Just remember to give it back to me when you're done. Any instructions for me on how to operate this custom-made mafia gadget? Sure, it's dead easy. Just look under the bed, in any of the rooms. There you'll find a small cable with a strange connector. Just plug in the machine, and you are good to go. Oh, it's an actual spy device. Right. Let's cap we're going. Oh, he's not there anymore now. Damn, that was fast, honestly. There's so much to this game that I didn't think there was going to be, honestly. <laughs> so, okay, fine, just walk up the thing, like. Uh, welcome, sir. How nice to see you again, Mr. Uh, Gondolus. Oh, that's the guy as well. Hey, lad, by the way. First one went okay. What, what, what were you saying? What are you saying, lab? Lab, what are you saying? Yes, yes. I hope your trip so far has been satisfactory. Quite so. How nice to hear. My exams. Ah, oh, lovely. It's no, like, it's always a good, like, sign when you're doing well at the start of the exam periods. Oh. When? Oh, Jesus Christ. That's... Oh my, yeah, no, I think it's been two years now since I've done exams myself for college, like. Damn. I'm old. Yeah, keep it up, lab. You just gotta keep up the good shit. Whatever you're doing, like. Next is Matt, so I'm expecting a 1 out of 20. Fair. To be fair, with me and Matt, I don't really remember much myself, like. Yes, of course. We have prepared the usual accommodations for you, good. Also, I'd like my regular fast meal delivery service. Should that be your usual fat-filled feast? Yes. Splendid. Just call in those orders through the intercom system and the fat, I mean food, will be delivered to your door. I hope you won't run out of chocolate this time. Of course not, sir. We promise that will not happen again. This time I have personally prepared the kitchen for your exquisite tastes. As long as it, cover as it is covered in chocolate, I will devour it. Good. Uh, now I have some... Won't bring my bags up to my room. Kitchen, start up the chocolate fountain. <laughs> Johnny, bring these bags up to Mr. Gondolis's room. Johnny? I'm so sorry, Mr. Gondolis. It looks like I have misplaced my bellboy. <laughs> as long as it's covered with chocolate, I will devour it. Yeah. As much as I like to admit it, I kind of am still like that as well. I, I always keep saying that I'm trying to branch away from chocolate, but I'm always like... It's like a gravitational well. I always like fall back into it like... Hmm. If you'll just continue up to your room, I'll have someone bring your lug uh, luggage ASAP. Devour it. Dem. Kappa? <laughs> I have equipment in these bags worth more than your little hotel. Oh my. Okay then, let's see now. Why don't you wait here, Mr. Gondolus? I'll go and investigate what is going up with that stupid bellboy. I'm sorry about this, sir. Uh, he... What? He, he just... He just walked down, like... He, he didn't even go to check, like... Don't bother me now. I'm waiting for the bellboy to help me with my bags. Hey, don't touch that. It's like, hmm, I literally could be that bellboy. 
I think it's probably for the best, actually. Bellboy wanted? Oh, can I not? Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? I would like to work here. Sure, what position are you interested in? I want to be a bellboy. Hmm. Really? This is perfect. It is? The former bellboy has gone missing. We have a very important guest waiting as we speak. Here are your clothes. <laughs> you could use the small dressing room here to left and change. Bro, that's the fastest interview process I've ever gone through. Jesus. If your interview goes this well, you run away from that place. You don't take the job like. That's what I learned when I was still scouting. Now uh, you also get a couple of key cards so you can use the elevator. Just slide the key with the matching floor number you desire. Got it. As soon as uh, you have the proper outfit on, uh, would you be so kind to help Mr. Gondolis up with his bags? Sure thing, boss. And please inform him that the hotel will not charge him for any of his upcoming meals. Will do. Tommy's changing. Go on. I love the way it was a minus symbol as well. <laughs> Even though I gained the uniform. Oh, and I got the keys as well. Right. Don't mind me. Just gonna put a spy device in your room, you know how it is. Oh great, you've come to help me. Oh yeah, that's the device they were on about as well. It, really? You're just gonna leave it out in the open? You good? Was there something else? Nah, I unpacked my ass what it is. No, I just wanted to wish you a pleasant stay. Uh, yeah, pleasant stay. Okay then, thank you. Here's something for your trouble. Wait, what did he give me? Thank you, sir. No problem. Now I need to start unpacking my things. I'm a bit tired after all that time arguing with the customers, uh, customs workers, you know? Yeah, they are a bit strict with the import rules here. How you could say that again? I only had two items with me and both had been cleared a long time ago. Yeah, it took me about half an hour to get them through customs. Well, I better be going. Have a nice day, sir. Shay's sitting right there. Oh. oh, yeah, and I'm going straight. Oh, no, I'm out. Hmm, guess that is the device Mr. Rog is after. If I am, if I am to please him and get my sit down with Mr. Bossman, I need to figure out how to get it. Okay, see that? Hmm. It's a hole in the wall with a sign above it that reads, Do not cover this hole. This is access port for the service slash security droid. Can I actually cover it up? A any chance? <laughs> Just put the uniform in front of it. Spy device. Listening device. To be fair, with the listening device, I meant to drop it, so... Nah. Can I go into, like, anyone's room? Or is it just, like... Oh, yeah, I can't. I literally could just waltz into anyone's room. Welcome to hotel. How may I help you? Something to my room. Hang up. <laughs> okay. Rog told me to look for the connector under this bed. Let's do this. Wait, was it under this bed? Or, like... I just went into the room randomly. I didn't think this was the room. Oh, here it is. Cool. It's a very odd looking power plug with a cord going in under the bed. This must be what Rog was referring to. Can I, can I pick it up? Okay, can I pick it up? Or am I doing this? Oh, wait, no, wait, no. I don't want that in here. Wait, no. T take it back. Because, like, this is in the room. Well, I kind of just pulled that out. Just don't, don't mind me. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, who are you? Hi, I am help. Hey, yo, what? Oh, take it easy. I'm no liar. You're here to have your way with me. What? I'm about to take my nap soon. You better not wake up finding you naked next to me. I can assure you. Be gone, evil one. Be gone, I say. I think I better go. Fucking hell, no chill. Like, do you, do you not see the uniform? I'm just trying to fucking, like, help you out or something. Like, I don't know. 
Maybe look for a spy device underneath your bed, like. Elevator instructions. Damn. Mad instructions, isn't it? Wait, wait. Oh! So is that? Okay, that takes me up one, but then... Oh, yeah, okay, I see it now on it. So this should take me up more? Yeah. Prepare for security scan. What? This again? You must be joking. Please refrain from moving during the scan. Yeah, yeah. I know the drill by now. If the scan results in an, uh, in an alarm, please be still and wait for further actions to be executed. Just finish it already. Oh, shit. Scan complete. All clear. Please continue as before. Oh, so that's the security drone. That was the third time today. I am really getting sick of these security checks. Hey man, are you new here? Yeah, I started today. Congrats, pal. I'm Rattle Ray. What's your given registration, mate? Sorry, registration? Your name. What's your name? Oh, Thomas Wellmu. You a big fan of security checks, Mr. Thomas? Uh, no, I guess not. Too bad, hombre. They'll be on you like flies on a turd. Oh, what are they checking for? My money is on stolen property, but I've never asked. It wouldn't bother me so much if I wasn't for the side business I'm running. And what is that, may I ask? Let's just say that if you ever feel low and want to fly, Rattle Ray is your guy. So you're a drug dealer. Hey, chill, Padre. I define myself as a private... Apo... Fair... Carry. Yeah, I can read English. What about it? I have the party stuff as well as the things that take away pain or help you go to sleep in the heartbeat. I help people. Okay then, see you around, Ray. Peace. So that's the elevator, emergency exit, cleaning cart. <laughs> it looks unused. Cleaning supply. Fill of all kinds of drugs of different kinds. It can't be opened without a key. So that's obviously his key. And then that's the security drawer. And then I'm assuming if I open that, that just sets off the alarm. So I'm not going to do that. I, I think I'll be good. I don't want us to be scanned again. Oh, wait, no. I want to be on the lower floor. I mean, to be fair, I could just click it again. God, my hands are sweating already, look. Like. Haven't even been streaming that long, now. Um. Right. What do I do now? Good afternoon, sir. Oh, it's you. Maybe you should get back to work. I want to quit my job. I really feel like I could do a great... As a cleaner here, this job was no fun. Can I switch to something else? I need to go now. Have a nice day. I guess I can't go into the kitchen, right? Because your man's just going to shout at me. But I'm going to just double check. Dun, dun. Yeah. Hey! You cannot come in here without your work clothes. I mean, I have work clothes. Can I be a... <laughs> can I be a chef as well? Dun, 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 dun. I mean, I know I need to be a cleaner, but I don't want to replace your man, like. Uh, can I switch to something else? Hmm, I guess that's okay. What position are you interested in here? Uh, I want to be kitchen helper. Okay, then. Here are your clothes. You can use small dressing room to change. I love how they're just so, like... They just... like They're not really doing much checks on me. Like, bro, you have to be really qualified to be a fucking chef. Like, you can't just walk up to a place and be like, Yep, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll cook, like, food, you know? Actually, to be fair, like, you can work in McDonald's, like, with no qualifications, basically. Wow, amazing. He finally hired me a helper. About time. That fancy dressed sack of bones at the reception thinks this kitchen runs itself. Uh, it smells delicious in here. It's the smell of slacking, and it came with you. I'm Thomas, by the way. Don't care. Taste testing the rat poison, perhaps. <laughs> no, you should do what I tell you. Get started on the onions. I need a lot of them, so don't stop until I say so. And one more thing. I'm all right, I, I'm allergic to people uh, taking their own initiatives. Just follow my instructions and you'll be fine. 
The hotel currently has a very important and chocolate addicted guest staying here. If he is on, if he is happy, the hotel is happy. And if the hotel is happy, I can keep my job and stay happy. You sure? Uh, you sure you feel happy? Shut up, frowny face. I've been unpacking Herbert's choco bars for the fondue all morning. When Mister Gondola starts dropping these those orders, we better be ready. Okay, but you want me to potato or onions? Why onions? It's a lot of chocolate. It's a quite the chocolate based menu for this makes sense. Then there's the chef. There's something in the fridge as well. Fill to the brim. Not even gonna tell me what, just you know, just fill to the brim. Cool. Um, <laughs> just, it goes again. Maybe I should shout to him to see if I've done enough. You know, just chop one onion. That's enough. Good job. Now I need more potatoes. Oh, so I guess I just keep doing it until he tells me to stop, like. And it feels bad to be cutting up my ancestors like this. Good job. I need you to stir the chocolate now. Mmm, sloshing. <laughs> I'm actually just like, no, you fucking idiot. Why are you stirring it this much? You trying to make arrow bubble milk chocolate? Like what? Drop what you're doing. I need more onions. Oh my god, is this all it's going to be? Just me constantly going backwards and forwards, just doing shit like this. Oh, okay, there we go. Just keep going, I guess. Do what you're told, simulator. I like it. Okay, good job. Need more potatoes. Is No, please don't tell me this is a loop. Please tell me this actually leads to something. Oh my god, I think it might be a loop. But at the same time, I'm not sure, honestly. Good job. Now you just need to ch uh, stir the chocolate more. If he tells me to go back to onions, I'm going to question him, like. Come on. Oh my god, I forgot. I have a fucking, like, white chocolate Easter egg for my birthday that I still need to eat. <laughs> just give me a minute. Mmm. I love the way I already have biscuits, but I'm bringing up chocolate now. Right. What? What do you want? Nothing really. Don't tell me it's actually just a loop, man. It is a loop, isn't it? Uh, maybe we can switch jobs. Not gonna lie, this is kinda boring. Alright, now stir the chocolate. I'm actually gonna leave this kitchen if he doesn't say something different, like. Hey, where do you think you're going? Hmm. I have to go. No, you don't. You're working right now. Oh, okay then. That's <laughs> just me being a little bitch boy just staying in.
I seriously don't think there's much else I can do. Let me just do the same things again and I'll actually leave this time. But why does he have me going from one to the other, like? He's not even coming over to pick this shit up, like. Or oh, excuse me. It's just like, oh, excuse me, Mr. Robot Mad here. Drop what you're doing, I need more onions. Hey, don't touch that. Finish your job instead. That's it. I told you not to do things without my orders. Get out of here. You're fired. <laughs> and then I just... Uh, that's gas. Afternoon. Oh, it's you. Maybe you should get back to work? I really feel like I could do great as a cleaner here. We already have a cleaner here. I grant you that he is a useless piece of garbage and... That he can't be trusted, but I haven't got a re legal reasons to fire him. Um, I say switch. Interested, bellboy. Hmm. I guess you can have it. Here are your clothes. <laughs> a bit reluctant that time. It's like, uh, why are you swapping back to forwards between jobs? I wonder. <laughs> Oh wait, what if I just have to leave? Hmm. Nah, I'll go up. God, I'm, this whole egg is going to be eaten by the end of the stream. I'm just here to check if you'd like some food. Oh, well, I will order my food through the intercom system in the room, and I would expect a food drone to deliver it to me. I hope the chocolate fondue is still on the menu. Of course it is. Let me be sorry to have disturbed you. You'll have to excuse me for some bad temper, but would you please inform the rest of the staff that I am not to be disturbed? I'm here on very important business and I will not leave the room while here or require any human service. Got it. And again, sorry. Fuck, I just made it worse. That's actually kind of, like, sucks, honestly. I feel like I'm gonna have to do something with the cleaner, like, to, like, fuck them over, like... Oh, excuse me. Hey there, man. I'm your man. What kind of product would you gentlemen be interested in? Uh, anything for sleep pills? Sure, dreamers. They will knock you out in an instant, and they are completely tasteless as well. You find it hard to relax? Yeah, maybe. So how much are they? I'm afraid I'm all out at the moment. What you see in the stash is all going out this afternoon. I'll get a refill later this week, though, if you're still interested in them. Uh, anything party labelled. Huge assortment of hallucinations, uh, but at the moment my stash is empty in the party section. Gotta go. No, no, wait, don't actually. Hey, man, don't touch that. It's just cleaning supplies. Uh, no, it isn't. That's my entire stock of medically related products. I keep it locked because pe of people like you. So where do you keep the clean supplies? I don't. Please direct all of your stupid questions to reception. How do I get the key to the cabinet? It comes with the job and the job is mine. I keep it safe. Don't you worry. Oh, okay. Hey there, man. 
Uh, let's see. Sure am. Sounds like clean room. Since I'm uh, related to the owner, I pretty much decide my own schedule. Besides, the old lady Pearl in number 30 has always accused me of stealing from her after I've been there. Stealing what? I don't know. Anything. I think she is the owner of some legendary jewel. I see. Oh, the jewel! So, Ralray, right, right, where are you from? Downstairs. No, where did you grow up? As I said, downstairs. Born and raised here on floor two. Really? Yeah. My mom is the cousin to the big shot who owns this place. She got a permanent apartment on the uh, second floor while pregnant with me. She uh, could say you were from Lime City. Yeah, but because of the pollution outside, she didn't really let me outside for the first 15 years. So this building is pretty much my origin and home. I have some really great memories from my childhood, you know. I can really recommend raising kids on floor two if you have any interest. I already got my home on another planet, but thanks anyway. Uh, I've got to go. Okay, so I need to go and get the necklace from your one in the stall and go from there. I don't even remember why I'm even doing all this, to be honest. I just, I was like, ah, oh, fuck it, yeah, we'll fuck around on the planet. Like, you know, it's, it's over like a year or two before the sun blaster comes and destroys the Earth. But, you know, it is how it is. Dun, 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 dun. Hey, your shift isn't over yet. Oh, can I actually... Oh, shit, wait, how do I get out of my shift? <laughs> do I just quit my job and go from there? I think I just quit, don't no, I? No. Good afternoon. Oh, it's you. Uh, great cleaner. This job's no fun. Uh, I want to quit my job. What? Well, all right then. Please change out of your working clothes and return the items here before you leave. <laughs> and then I'll be able to come back later anyway is my thing. Here you are. <laughs> it's just gas to me the way that all this shit works, honestly. Because I'm going to have to come back and, like, fucking put back on the clothes. Like, re they're going to have to rehire me. And then instantly I'm going to be like, hey, by the way, uh, pharmaceutical, or not pharmaceutical guy, the cleaner guy, he's doing thing. Currently have thing, and uh, that's all. Uh, how much for the necklace? This one, fake one, it's worth 35 credits. I'll take it. I need to make my money back. <laughs> just uh, let me just make my money back real quick before I go back in, because the job I'm currently working probably won't pay me. Like, oh, there's oh, okay, fine. If there's nothing in one of them, I'm not really bothered to be honest. Hmm. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you today? I can see you're hiring. I'd like to work here. Um, bellboy, please. Hmm. I guess you can have it. Here, close. <laughs> that's, I'm sorry, but that's so funny to me. Just how you pop in and out of the place, and like you're just getting hired and rehired and quit and rehired and all that stuff, you know. I want to quit my job. Do I need to plant the net? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Do I not do that? No. Dun, dun. Okay, I'm going to go back to her room and hope that I can actually talk to her. Because I have to... Oh, yeah, sorry. I need a key. Up we go. Off we get. Go. I'm assuming it's just going to be the same shit again. Yeah, no, it's the same shit. I was going to give her the shit, but no. And there's nothing in that room. I can't disturb him, so I have to go up a floor. Dun, dun. Unless I'm meant to actually go out to, um, I think Rob was his name or whatever, and maybe talk to him about the situation. 
Yeah, boss, it's a weird place. They let me just constantly just do thing and thing. Ah, I see. Uh, <laughs> just, uh, cool. Anyway, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> just like, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, get out, get out. Ugh. Back, back. Hey, don't touch. Prepare for security scan. Ah, oh, crap. Please refrain from moving during the scan. Yeah, yeah, I know the drill by now. If a scan results in alarm, please be still. Yeah, I've read that already. Just finish it already. Oh, no. Alarm, alarm. Everyone stay where you are. What are you talking about? Don't move your body too much from your body's current location. I mean, what is the problem? Why did you sound the alarm? Doesn't matter, just don't move. What's going on here? Ray? What have you done this time? Nothing, I swear. For your sake, I sure hope it's nothing. You know very well what happens after the third offense. But, droid, give me the report. Detection of signature B45 inside this cleaning car. Origin unknown. What? Oh my Ray. That is the blue heart necklace. This belongs to Miss Pearl in number 30. I haven't touched that. I'm sorry, Ray, but I have to bring this matter to the director. You know that. Come on, man, I beg you. Please don't. I'm actually innocent this time. You always are, Ray. You there, bellboy. Me? You'll come down to the lobby with us and act as a second witness of this alarm. Uh, okay. This <laughs> is, uh, okay. The porter uh, brought both you and Ray down to the lobby where he contacted the director of the hotel. Oh, we actually get to see him, do we? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. I understand. I will do that right away, sir. Ray, I'm afraid I have to let you go. But I work here. I live here. My life is here. There's nothing I can do this time. The director was absolutely clear. This is a joke. I will not forget this. Maybe I'll just come back and sue this hotel and everyone in it. Come on, Ray. You know that won't work. Is there... If there is anything I can... I hate you. Damn, bit of a... You know, a bit of a little loser, might I just say. <laughs> Sorry about that. They can get so emotional at moments like these. Anyway, I guess the search for... Yeah, another cleaner is now official. Want to be clear. Okay, then. Here are your clothes. <laughs> Small dress rear to change. You also get a couple key cards so you can use the elevators. Perfect. Oh, and also, here's the key to the cleaning supply storage on the fourth floor. Bingo. Th that is actually why I took the job. Sorry? I mean, using cleaning stuff. Clean stuff from the storage, that is. You aren't snorting the bleach, I hope. No, I would never. That'd be very painful when you think about that. <laughs> it's just... Hmm. Let's go. <laughs> to get access to the space gate, you keep. Oh, that's why I'm doing this. To get to the boss man, to get access to the company, to get through the space gate, to save some time getting back home to Earth. That's it. We'll save a good 150 days or so. You keep telling yourself that, Captain. Now go and steal that thing for the nice guy. Uh, which is four. I'm pretty sure it was four. Yes, yeah, see, we're passing the other one just down there. Let's go, Captain. Oh yeah, I can just do this, can't I? Imagine the security drone comes back up now of all times, man. That'd be painful. Oh, there, are you done? Oh! Um, cleaning soda dreamers. Wait, was I meant to get here again? I can't actually... Oh, wait, am I... Oh, yeah, because then... Okay, I'm going to get the sleeping stuff to put in the chocolate fondue or something like that. Deliver it to your man when I get the kitchen job again. No, I get the kitchen job. Then I quit that. 
become the bellboy again, deliver the stuff, and go from there? No, but we're going to give it to a droid. I be I basically just have to do that. I have to put uh, dreamers in thing. Because cleaning soda, I think, would actually kill the man. And we don't really want to kill the man. Like, <laughs> Just open the door to come over, scan. It's like, you're in possession of drugs. Uh, please stand still. Yeah, come on. You know what? I, I, I quit this uh, cleaning job. I want the kitchen job again. He's like, bro, can you... Like, at that point, just give me the three jobs, like, if I'm constantly bouncing between them, like... Dun, 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 uh, I want to quit my job. Oh, fuck, wait. <laughs> Wrong one, wait. Now I have to do more work. I like the work here. Oh, shit. Oh, click bellboy as well. Oh, I just spam click. I thought I could pass through it before I, uh, and then stop before I chose bellboy. Kitchen. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. I still have thing on me, don't I? Yeah, grand. That's the main thing. As long as I have the dreamer still on me, I'm good. You again? Did they really hire you back? Well, I hope you have learned to listen this time around. <laughs> yeah, see, it's for the fondue. I'll wait until we actually reach that point and then I'll do it. Because it looks suspicious otherwise, if I'm not cutting the onions and peeling the potatoes first. Good job. Need more potatoes. I need to get more water. <laughs> Just I'm eating too much chocolate and it's flushing my cheeks like. Good job, stir chocolate. Come on. Give me the option. Oh my, I better refrain from eating this chocolate now. What was that? Nothing, sir. Just make sure the chocolate is even and gets the, that edge you want with the chocolate fondue. You better not mess it up. Is he just going to loop me around again? If he tells me to go back to onions, I'm saying I'm just going to quit. Drop, what are you doing? Need more onions. I quit. <laughs> I quit! Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to go. No, you don't. I'm working here. I'm sorry, but I have to. And don't bother to come back here anymore. You're fired. Was I meant to actually do something? Now that I realize I probably was meant to do something, wasn't I? Dun, 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 dun. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should actually, because maybe I, if it was going to be like the last loop of it and it was actually going to allow me to do the thing. You again? <laughs> Did I hired you again? Oh, wrong one. Not the chocolate. He's really not questioning why it's the third time now I've been quote-unquote hired. Hmm, very suspicious, I'm not going to lie. Is that weird as well, by the way? Like, when I'm not looking up, like, directly at you, and then I just suddenly look at you? Because, like, you know, I'm meant to be looking here on the screen, but then I move my eyes up here to the camera. And then back down here. <laughs> it's just, like... It mustn't be natural, like. I actually saw in the, um, VTuber software, where I make the models and stuff, like... Oh my god, there's like a lot to the hair that I didn't even know of. Like, I, I think they call it like bones or something. It's basically part of rigging or some shit like that. And like, there's a shit ton 
like that goes into the hair itself to make it all bouncy and all that shit. Oh my god. See, I don't know if I'm meant to just keep going or if I'm meant to actually stop. And they don't really explicitly tell you. Okay, maybe I will just get out. Because there's only so many times I can do thing, right? <laughs> Your fires. Fastest way out. Dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, be bellboy, right? I'm assuming, like, oh no, yeah, because a drone's gonna deliver his food, so I think I just go straight up, honestly. Unless they tell me otherwise, like. Dun, 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 dun. Don't need to be in the cleaner floor. Wait, did he? I f did he tip me that time when he gave me some? I think he must have tipped me, right? Wait. Oh, I didn't even realize that was a thing. Hello again. Just a moment, um... Uh, I'm sorry, but I can't let anyone in right now. I'm so gonna be left alone up here. I'll let you be now. Sorry to have disturbed you. No problem. Yeah, you'll have to excuse my somewhat bad temper, but I uh, think where... Got it. Okay, but how do I get thing to work? Service. How do I get the service droid up, then? Is it, was there like something else in the kitchen I was meant to do? Because that's meant to go under the bed. I can, wait, can I? I can't just drop that here, can I? I don't think it would do much, but. There you go. <laughs> Man, that's not suspicious at all. No way. And I still have the dreamers. Can I use them on myself? Imagine how funny that would be. Oh wait, actually, that that's what I could actually do, probably. Just go into this room. Oh wait, am I actually meant to put this here? Wait. System online, choose reaction to scan, right. I don't know, wrong room. Whoa. That is the room next door. It's as if the wall just disappeared. Amazing. Let's see. Okay, there he is anyway. It really looks like the device that could help a lot. It's Mr. Thing. A lot of baggage. It's big screen, nothing special about it. Okay, but what do we... Oh wait, is this... Or something to my room. Okay, please state your room code. 550. That seems to be in order. What can I get for you? Uh, steak meal, please. Like something vegetarian uh, steak meal. Okay. Do you want that dipped in chocolate? Oh, yes, please. Okay, then. Your order should be right up, sir. <laughs> hmm, that's not suspicious at all. The drone still has to fucking do thing. Oh, complimentary food. How wonderful. Thank you so much. God, that's disgusting, though. A fucking steak and chocolate, like? Granted, I didn't even get to eat fucking steak. Oh, jeez. Granted, I didn't even get to eat steak today because, like, the shop didn't have any for some... Because of all the fucking, like, shelves moving around, like. 
Actually, let me pick up that device first. Before we leave the planet, we probably should sell that. Or maybe hold on, I don't know. Right. Let's make our escape. Dun 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 Right Boys I quit for the final time swear down it's not gonna be a reoccurring thing now we're actually done I think Dun dun Oh can I go down here please thank you Dun 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 Quit my job Oh, excuse me. Oh. Just let me do a quick change live. Just like my VTuber model, I'm changing my top. Oh, shit. Wrong hole. There we go. Oh. Alright, all good. Feature model still lined? Good. I never- actually, I, I forgot that my fucking collarbone now shows up on this shirt. Because this, like, shirt that I'm wearing right now is actually different. And actually, to be fair, I didn't just change my shirt, I also changed my pants to shorts now as well. It should be, like, change the summer look, but... Yeah, right. We got what we need. Let's scavenge the bin again. Even though I should have gone down to the alley, because that's technically, like, a place I wouldn't check as much. Ugh. Walter. Get the cans, Walter. We're not going to make more much money out here, Walter. Oh, damn. <laughs> just, he's so fast, he literally left the screen, like. Yo, Rog, how is it going, bro? I have finally gotten to device after five years of trying. Have you got the device? Yeah. Hand it over then. Here you are. Wow. That's some amazing skills you got there. I honestly didn't think you could pull this one off. I guess I could send you to my boss now. They're in the penthouse of Tower 64. Here, take the elevator key. I'll notify them that you're on your way. I just fucking kill him like. Thief! Lost money but gained the elevator key. So I'm above even, like, well, basically everybody in the building, even thing, like. Right, just give me a minute, I need to get more water. You know how summer is. Ooh. Right. I never even mentioned this, but, like, I actually did manage to get that mangoes missing from, uh, thing. Even though the front cover is kind of, like, bent. And it's left a crease in it. Um... Ah, for sure, look, things happen, you know? <laughs> to be fair, though, I should have stopped buying the books ages ago, and I should have just got the box set, or, yeah, the box set of, um, my hero books, because I think it's, like, if you get 1 to 20, it's, like, 100 quid or something like that. That's, like, a fucking steal when you think about that. You're getting, like, 20 books for the price of 10, literally. <laughs> right, uh, yeah, back this way. Oh, wait, actually, first to this, because I have some, uh, cans. Uh, I say cans, I have a can. Come on, Tommy. You got this, Tommy. He's like, wait, I fucking recognize you. What are you doing back here? It's like, oh, I'm just going into my penthouse. Don't mind me. Oh, yeah, and if I got a room... Oh yeah, if I got a room, that would have been a different way around it, right? That's weird when you think about that. That would have led to a different story. Probably should have taken that other, like, thing from the cabinet as well, but... I should look at... You sometimes just miss out. Oh, damn. Sheesh! Battery socket. Note. Warning. Do not connect an external power source while the system is already powered. 
This might cause a power surge and blow the master fuse. Okay, but do I need to do that? I, I must need to do something with that in the future, like. Welcome, Mr. Welmno. I hope the elevator ride was to your satisfaction. Please come over here so that Miss, uh, Mr. Bossman can have a good look at you. Boss, this is Captain Thomas Welmno. He has proven himself friendly to our cause. Oh, a friend. Good, good. Do you know who I am? I guess you are Mr. Bossman? That is what they call me. But that is not who I am. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you are... I am the king. I am the engine that makes this town run. Without me, this godforsaken dump would have been a fishing village at most. I'm sorry to stress the issue, sir, but we should really get down to business. We have the meeting with the group at four, remember? Mmm, right you are, Stripe. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Wellmu? I was told you had access to the space gate. I really need to get back to Earth as soon as possible. Earth? Yeah. Hmm. I heard this Earth planet got itself in a lot of trouble. Isn't that right, Stripe? Yes, sir, that's correct. The entire Union fleet is en route to Earth as we speak. Right. Why would anyone in his right, in his right mind want to go there? I have my whole family there. I need to get back to them. I see. I can understand now. So can you help me? Hmm. Help is an expensive word, son. Uh, your guy, Rog, said you might. Rog? He's referring to Roger Scummerson, sir. One of our friends here on Alien Square. I see. Mr. Wellmo, you must understand that favors like everything else in life have a price. But I thought I'd already paid the price by helping Rog. Well, your efforts did grant you a sit down with me. If further favors are desired, further costs need to be paid. Stripe, please enlighten Mr. Wellmo what is expected of him. Yes, right. We're in need of a, a courier, you see. Someone that uh, cannot be connected to us in any way, if you know what I mean. So you want me to be this courier? You see, boss, I told you he had a bright one here. You'll deliver a package to the Pi system. They currently have the annual exhibition there, and the main attraction is their new upper space prototype engine. This new engine is a huge threat to our interest in the space gate. They claim that it's both cleaner and cheaper to send ships with their technology. But in reality, all it will do is make this quadrant politically unstable. If it goes public, business will suffer. And business can never suffer. All you have to do is place the package close to their prototype, activate it, and leave. It's nothing really. Anyway, Tech, uh, Techly here will give you all the details you need to know about the package. Remember, do this for us and we will grant you a trip to your sector through the space gate. Is it me now? Yes, Techly. Please bring Mr. Wellnew here. Uh, up to date about the package. Right. If you come over here to the table, I will show you the package. Hi. Hi. So, let's see. Have you worked with packages before? Yeah, sure, I delivered one earlier today. Oh, great, then this won't be a problem. First, you'll have to place the package close to the upper space prototype. Then all you have to do is press this trigger. The bomb will then go off and destroy the upper space uh, fabric around it. Wait a minute, the package is a bomb? Uh, yeah, of course. What else would it be? You must be joking. No, I'm afraid not. And then we'll see. I'm not sure I understand. Do you think you actually have a choice here? Well, technically, Mr. Wellnew has several choices, but only one of them will keep him breathing. And that's what I thought. You mean that I am forced to do this? Forced is such an ugly expression. I'd say you were persuaded. Just like me, then. How's the bomb work? It is not actually a bomb as such. It's a kind of destructor device. On detonation, it will disrupt the entire upper space fabric in a pretty large area around it. The upper space engine will become completely useless. It is actually perfectly safe to be close to it when it goes off. It won't hurt anything around you, but the upper space field... I guess Space Gate Corp don't, doesn't like competition. It's all about political stability, Techly. Of course, Mr. Stripe. Couldn't the bomb also disrupt the Space Gate technology? No, not really. It's an upper space disruptor. 
The space gate folds lower space. I guess the same technique could only be used to disrupt lower space. But this bomb is hard calibrated only to affect upper space. So it is impossible to recalibrate it for lower space. Um, maybe not actually. But it would take a real expert on lower space technology to be able... Please Techly, let's not bore our carrier with that nonsense. Right. <laughs> Just give me the damn bomb then. Sure, you can take it from the table here. I w uh, you will also need this ticket to enter the exhibition where the engine is displayed. I just realized I wasted time in the past when I could have just come straight to the planet here and got thing. Just one little question. How am I supposed to get this package out through the trade border? That won't be a problem. It's been cleared with the customs department. Oh, okay. One more thing, Mr. Wellmo. Be careful not to get lost during this mission. We can trace the bomb through its specific upper space resonance field. So stick to your path and all will be fine. Techly? Yes, sir? Please escort Captain Wellmo down to the lobby. Of course, sir. We better go now, Mr. Wellmo. I was going to click out as well, but yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you're. Wow, okay, you're actually bringing me all the way down as well. Just one thing before we leave. Uh. I noticed that you seem to have some reservations about using the bomb, right? Yeah, it feels like I'm being forced into this. I can totally understand that. You know, there might be another way out of this. Tell me more. Captain, I want you to know, I'm taking a huge risk trusting you, trusting you with this, but it's too good an opportunity to miss out on. And you strike me as the righteous man. I'm actually working for the resistance. The resistance? We're a small group working against the corporation here on Lime. The space gate is the key. It is polluting the fabric of space and politically has only benefited the rich. What is this opportunity you mentioned? We actually talked about it inside Bossman's office. I think it could be possible to recalibrate the bomb to affect lower space instead of upper space. This bomb could then be used to get rid of the space gate once and for all. That would help both of us, you know? How would that help me? You don't know? The Lyman government is letting the Union use the space gate. If it were to collapse, it would dramatically diminish the Union's reinforcements. So you can recalibrate the bomb. No, that job requires a lower space expert. We would need Professor Jappenheimer. He is the chef, chief architect of the <laughs> next version of the space gate. The only problem is that Mr. Bossman knows his value and is currently keeping him in a secret location. If you can help us find him, we can at least offer you an option of what to do with the bomb. Any idea where to look for him? Not really. I know Mr. Bossman keeps important documents in the safe in his office, but that man ne never leaves. I think he sleeps behind the desk. It's not like you could just turn off the lights and sneak in. When you get into trouble by recalibrating the bomb? Hey, all they really want is to delay the development of upper space engine. They don't care how you do it. If you manage that, you might as well save the bomb for us. Just come and see me when you have some information on Oppenheimer. I mostly hang out in the hotel lobby when I get the chance. Uh, to be honest, I kind of just want to, like... I'm trying to think, right? Because, like... I don't know. Because I could go... Wait, can I go back down or is it... Okay. There he is, yeah. Actually, can I talk to him now or is he already just like, Hey, have you not found him yet? Hello again. Have you found anything that might help us? No, not yet. Uh, I'll be back when I know more. See, so I have the option to like... Because technically he's right though. If I stop the space, or if I, yeah, if I destroy the space gate and let the upper one be used, then the Union won't be able to use thing, but then I won't be able to get back faster. And then it works in reverse as well, where it's just like, if I don't, if I stop the upper space gate being made or whatever, then I can use the lower space gate. Oh, God. It's the body of that informant, Corbin. 
He has shot through the head. What have I done? Oh, oh no, no soda. Okay. That's good. Oh, and that's where the power is. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's just a straight line. I was going to say that. Imagine if that was the power to the fucking tower as well, man. Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave. Um, I don't think there's much left for me to do here right now until I uh, decide what to do with the bomb. Useful inside this one. You know, I might just go for the easier option and just go to the fucking, uh, whatchamacallit, the upper space thing and go in from there. Okay, if there's going to be nothing useful, I'm just going. But I mean, I am passing the trash can. I might as well. Wait, I don't have any cans on me, do I? No. Hello, custom. Good afternoon, sir. Please hold your hand. Thank you. Uh, free trade products, items to store, items to retrieve. Except... Wait, free trade products, items to store. Oh, so I can't bring these with me. The listening device and all that shit. I can bring these through, but just not these. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna... I'm at least gonna just sell the uh, listening device to your man down here. Just to see how much money we would get for it, like... This camera's not gonna keep up with them, to be honest. There we go. Listening device. I see, very nice indeed. So it listens then. Yeah, it's a listening device. I hear you. Listen. I'll give you 40 for it. Deal. Great. Nice doing business with you. I'm probably going to regret that, aren't I? But then again, I can't bring it off this planet, so what's the point? Ah, uh, on second thought. I think I'll keep my stuff. Huh. <sighs> right, okay. We're finally getting off this rock. We're getting away from lime. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum, ba -dum. I'm just thinking of the fucking theme in the hotel again. Like... Hello, I am back. Good afternoon. Thank you. Accept. Thank you, sir. You're now free to enter. Oh, is there anything here? No trade zone. You're entered. Lime and uh, trade. Free zone. No import and export is allowed beyond this point. <gasps> Bins! Oh, but I bet I can't even bring those cans through. Can oh, actually, I probably could. Really? They're going to put cans here, but there's nothing in them? Damn. Need to care how many free shuttle spots are left. Each lit light is an occupied spot. I guess that makes sense, honestly. Here when I landed. Oh, why am I here, then? Can I leave? Oh. <laughs> Literally clicks off screen, like. Uh, I guess I'm going back here, then? Oh yeah, no, I forgot the fucking pod. I meant to go down the other way, right? I thought for some reason I could go through there. Uh, except. There you go. Bum, ba dum, bum, 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 ba dum, bum, bum, da 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 dum. Oh yeah, I forgot they were connected, these two. Like, I think it's the mining place, isn't it, over this way? I was going to mention as well, actually, with Sherry Alper's story. I'm actually looking into doing another kind of music-related thing, but I don't know if I'm going to fall through with it yet. Right, can I actually get to the trade border and do things? Oh shit, is that scanning for stuff? Ah. Uh, wait a minute. That's going to catch me, isn't it? I think I have to wait until that thing passes, right? Oh no, it's randomly just going along, isn't it? Oh. Um. Ah! 
I got caught. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I, I thought I got caught for a minute, like... Run! Go! Before you're caught there, no. Oh, there you go. Do I... Yes. Oh, feels good to be back on the ship, man. Feels like it's been a century since I've been here. Exhibition ticket, piece of paper, disruption trigger for the thing. Wait, do I combine those? What is this? Oh! Wait, if I imagine you just use that there, the ship just fucking gets EMP'd, like. Uh, that actually, I want to go up to the bot that's up here and see what they're up to. Wait, where's your man gone? How's it going? It's going great. I'm focused on learning everything about your enhanced magnetic displacement engine. That's great. Um, where's your man? That kind of is worrying me a little. Where's your man? Because we have, like, another crewmate. Did he just fucking leave? Hello? Oh, he's probably in the crew's quarters, I just realized. Not in here, like. I just went in there because I just didn't know where else he'd be. Elevator door? Probably door, yeah. Yeah, the star, I think, just stands for someone being in it. Oh, no. Oh, never mind. Uh, they're closed. So he's in here. How's it going, Marvel? Hey, pal. Just catching up on the news. Has anything interesting happened? Nah, hard to find anything other than war stories, I say. I saw this union conflict some come way ahead or yeah, come way ahead of the war. My parents got to feel the reality of the union's expansion plans before I was born. What happened? It's not really a story to tell. More a fact that when the union wants something they usually get it. Or end up destroying it. Yeah, now they want to kill our son. I read that. That is completely mental, sick bastards. You're a free man, Marvel, how's it feel? Can't complain. Life can be good. I won't. I won't miss those metal bunks at the vault for sure. How about you, Cap? Free and flying? Yeah, I might be free, but I'm heading into madness. I understand. War is hell. Yeah, have to find my family. Gotta go. See you around. See, I have anything else in the room? Just beds. Yeah. Right. Imagine if I could just like go back into my room, just go to sleep for 500 plus days and I just, I just, we don't even get back to the sun like thing at all. Cap, cabin, sweet cabin. Quite comfortable looking actually. Sarah sure made it feel more like home during her last visit. King size bed. Right, okay Cap, come on, get up. We have work to do, so let's get to it. Uh, okay, so we're going back to uh, Pi, wasn't it? Yeah, we're going back to Pi. Oh, you know, actually, that's not even that far. Now, why did I not realize that last time? Because we're in, like, a different section here. But to be fair, I mean, if the space gate can still take me all, all the way up to there, like, it's better than nothing, right? Because, like, look at that. 192 days or we can skip at least well we can just get there in 42 depending on where we teleport to assuming we still can't go past the barrier obviously yeah I'm pretty sure it's I kind of don't want to click it though in case it's the wrong one like oh wait wrong one I'll click that button though Where can I find it? It's simply to buy them from trade station. Keep in mind they're quite expensive here in the out region. Uh, funds have recommended lead us into battle. Ship explodes. Cool. Uh, and even tells who's on board as well. I like that. 
ship speed 5. Oh, so technically we could probably upgrade the ship speed at some point as well. Fuck's sake. Um. Oh, yeah, this is the oak I wanted, this thing. Yeah, so, it's, yeah. Oh, my God, I keep clicking that button. So, yeah, we are going to thing planet. Hi. To be fair, it's nine days out of 500. How bad could it be? Estimated arrival, nine days. I mean, I'd be helping out those people there that are also being, like, uh, weird. Good morning, Captain. Yes, yeah, ship? Want to inform you that we're at our destination. I should just click this, shouldn't I? It's not really a point in getting up. And we're saving here as well. Did they change this around? Oh no, that's just saying. Never mind. Really? You can't step out of it? Like. Maybe I could talk to your. Oh, if I had a listening device, could I listen to these guys? To be fair, I probably couldn't do it anyway. I could use these guys as help, to be honest. I think that's all the same shit they're just mentioning from last time. I don't think there's much different. Uh, what proposal was that? Demonstration fail. Well, actually, I think I could help you. Sublime, here. I have a small device I want you to put on the prototype before the main, uh, before the main demonstration. That's all. We will do the rest. Your biggest problem will be to get close to the prototype. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. Here you are. Is it like another one? I really admire your dedication here, outsider. We are in desperate need of help. I think you should have a talk with Mr. Rue. Who is Mr. Rue? He is the origin of this enlightened resistance. I will give you his location. He is a, a, a quite interesting individual. I think you really should go. I'm sure he, you'll find it very rewarding. Thank you. Shuttle? Yes, Captain? Can you send those coordinates to our ship? Of course, I'll do that right away. Thanks. Okay, but do I- Okay, there's a prototype savage thing. And then there's a disruptor. I think I'm gonna use the disruptor. I'm just letting them know, hey, I'm gonna also do something to this device, you know, at this point. Shuttle. Right, cheese. <laughs> at least I know what it's like having kids. Haha, <laughs> mommy is grumpy. Protest leader. Hey, did you know that this upper space change is probably as bad as lower space? I don't care about that. <laughs> well, you should. Very, very, you can't imagine. I doubt that. My imagination could be quite vivid. Well then, imagine a total collapse of time and space. Ouch. Yeah, exactly. Ouch. I'm telling you. It's not easy having this knowledge about the future without anyone listening. I can imagine. I need to go now. Good afternoon, sir. Your ticket, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Welcome to the exhibition. I should remind you that this is a one-time entrance ticket only. Make sure you've got everything you need because we can't let you back in. No problem, I've got everything. <laughs> oh! Well, congratulations, I guess. What happened? You're our thousandth visitor today. Wow. Yeah. You'll get access to your own private VIP booth where you can see the presentation from above. Uh, there are also some snacks and beverages up there that are free to take. Here. Just show this badge to guard at the VIP entrance on the second level of the building. Thank you. That's definitely handy for something. Not good. Not just doing that for no reason, you know? Oh, I can actually go up there. 
But do I need to? Nah. They've given up. They're like, oh, that guy is a lost cause. I can go to police officer. Oh, what's this? Sign about the box is pretty self-explanatory. I can store things here, things that I'm not allowed to bring into the exhibition. Oh shit, so how do I bring up the device? One of these boxes. It's empty. Uh, what do I not bring? The suicide pill, probably? Yep, could put that away. Uh... Oh, is that all I can fucking store? I'll just take all the items in here. I put one thing in there. Wait, shit, is this going to affect me? Because I have two of these. Or, well, this show. Prototype sap. Wait. From the children of nature, the small supposedly has the function to sabotage thing. Or I could just use the disruptor bomb instead. Security. Oh, a checkpoint? Oh, no. Hello, officer. I have a save point anyway if I need to go back to it. Hold on, sir. You'll need to pass security scanner first. Please step through the gate here. Uh-oh. I have a... Please stop right there, sir. Is there a problem? We detect a very strong power field emanating from you. This is quite common. We don't allow any power cells or strong batteries of any kind in here. Please step outside and remove all devices that contain strong batteries. You can use the storage box to store your items during your stay. Okay, so I need to be able to... Uh, hold on, sir. Oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, so I do need... Oh, wait, so... It's because I have a strong one, right? And that's probably the fucking thing that the green guy gave me, the boss man. Okay, can I just store something in it, please? Wait, it is this one, isn't it? Yeah, this one. I'm assuming... I think check number of substance objects. If they say I can't get through now, I'm going to be so annoyed. Yeah, it was literally that. Welcome to the exhibition. The elevators to the main hall are just at the end of the hallway. Welcome to the exhibition. The elevators to the main hall are just at the end of the hallway. Okay, but I, I'm special, right? I I am a surgeon! Just starts flashing the VIP badge, like... I've never been able to use the line before. Let's, let's just let me have it, like... Wow, this looks really exciting. This is where they will show the upper space prototype. Meanwhile, the brand new upper space engine prototype is being prepared backstage. Okay, so we are clear on security here. Crystal clear. I have posted my best guy at the door. No one will get in without the proper clearance. Good, this is the only working upper space engine in existence. We're going to run a live test with the entire sector watching us. Nothing can go wrong or we'll lose all our investors and this revolution in technology will die. No need to worry. This backstage is completely secure. Okay, then. Carry on. Uh, yeah, the VIP... Uh, Bio-freeze. What's this? Oh, can I... Oh, I can actually go from thing to thing, now. Welcome to Bio-freeze, may I ask you, sir? Have you ever been in cryosleep? Of course I have. Good. Then how would you describe... How dreadful you feel... Well, how would you just... Yeah. Your skin's sticky. Your mouth is dry. And sometimes you could be totally blind to a couple of hours. It can take days to fully recover to your former self. Wouldn't it be great if there was a way to freeze yourself without these nasty side effects? Well, I guess so. Say no more. This is exactly what we at Biofreeze have developed. The chill pill. State in your body. What is a body field chemically like temporal state? What? No. Eh, uh, close enough, I guess. So shoving yourself into a bulky cryo chamber, you can just take a pill. So your body structure will go into something we call biological stasis. Begin after you take the pill, won't notice. Quite exhilarating. Won't choose. I'm actually just. Okay, good luck with everything. Thank you, kind sir. 
Ooh. When is sunshine ever Teddy? Cute little Teddy. It is set to its wave routine. Welcome to sunshine. Uh, May I ask you, sir? Have you ever replaced an empty battery with a fresh new one? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes, we all know that routine too well. What would you say if I told you that we here at Sunshine have a solution for that problem? That'd be great, I guess. Great indeed. Well, may I introduce the Ever Battery? How long does the battery last? Well, we only have one product shipping with the Ever Battery right now. This stuffed bear, the Ever Teddy. We guarantee that the battery inside this teddy will work for at least two standard generations. So you can be sure that your children can pass it on to their children without having to change the battery. However, we cannot guarantee that the teddy itself will last that long. It all depends on how well it is taken care of, you know? Okay, see you later. <laughs> it's just like, no, fuck, see you later. There we go. Judges booth, best in show. The booth winning first prize for best presentation will be shown to main stage. Visitor, waste and vanish, waste and vanish. Can I put myself in there? Wave. And then that's backstage. Worker. Wave. Oh no, that's just gonna, yeah, lead me back up to here. I guess I can just go up to the VIP thing now. Oh, look at that, it's a four-leaf clover, like. They're making references to us. Are you here to enjoy the VIP area? I sure am. If you just hold your VIP pass in front of the scanner here, the elevator will take you there. Right. Oh. What? Oh, can I... Oh, this joke. No. Shush. Silence, peasant. I'm a very important person, as you can tell, because it says VIP. Damn! This is all for me? How much can I steal? Good day, sir, and congratulations on winning the exclusive VIP experience, sir. Have you had a pleasant visit so far? Oh yes, I'm very intrigued with all the travel technology. Very good, sir. I'm not sure if you know, but being the VIP for this evening comes with some responsibilities. What do you mean? Well, sir, I am happy to inform you that you decide when you the main show is to start. Oh, you just let me know when you are ready. Okay, will do, chief. What? I just... <laughs> Bro, I win a fucking thing and now I decide when the whole thing actually starts? Looks like they're showing a game of float ball on the screen. It's the Flying Kings versus Panda Packers. I haven't followed the Floatball Prime League since school. How's the drink? Nice. Did you like that, sir? That was exquisite. Glad to hear you like it. <laughs> and I'm just holding the wine now. This is one hell of a view if you want to see the main stage show. This is not the place to be if you're afraid of heights. Are your intentions to start the show now? Keep in mind that the exhibition will close after the show. If you want to uh, see more of the exhibition, you should do that before starting the show. Uh, okay, come back later. Just don't mind me just going to walk around with a wine glass just to <laughs> just swill it in front of the like peasants down below, you know? Excuse me, sir. I have to ask you to return the, VIP, uh, the glass before leaving the VIP room. Oh, sorry, I actually didn't even know that. Wait, can I? Oh no, I don't have thing there. I just, how about no? I thought, I actually thought I was gonna just take another sip out of it right in front of his face. That would have been so gas. Okay, I assume I have to go up to the, uh, whatchamacallit, the stage itself or something like that. And then I need to, like, place the device there or something like that. Because that's where it said backstage was, so ye. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Hello there. Can I see your backstage pass? I don't have one. Well, I can't let you in without one, you know. 
Oh, do I actually have to get back? Hey, can I have one of those, please? Oh, what? I'm sorry, but these aren't mine. I'm just working here. I'll have to move all these packages backstage before the main show. I have a package that is supposed to go backstage. Uh, can I carry something? I wish you could. But they require a valid backstage pass to enter and they are personal. Uh, I have a thing that says, what is it? A bomb! <laughs> Just, does it matter? Nah, I guess not. So will you do it? Yeah, sure, no problem. Just hand it over and I'll take it for you. Uh... Oh, fuck, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Disengage, disengage. A bomb. Haha, <laughs> yeah, right. So will you do it? Yeah, sure, no problem. Just hand it over and I'll take it from here. Is he actually gonna do it? <laughs> hey, I'm the package guy, but if you want me to take something backstage, you give it to me in the form of a package. Oh shit, I thought there was... Waste and Vanish. Teddy. VIP. There was boxes somewhere, right? Maybe if I, like, look around, I can actually put it in a box. New garbage disposal. Uh, yeah, sure. Fantastic. Take a look. Now take a look at this. We have installed our trans steam system into this small chamber. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, we found it suitable. Let's put the garbage aside. Test cubes. Amazing part. Uh, with the garbage. With earlier garbage well, This would have been a bad idea, I can tell you that. Uh, you don't have to stand in there. Fair play, he's alive. As you can see, it only disintegrates dead material. It is also calibrated to ignore all items that are in direct contact to a person. That's why my clothes and the items in my pockets are still here. If you have any other questions, just come talk to me. Oh. Wow, well, look at that, another cube. I knew this would work. So, how are we doing here? Have we chosen a winner yet? Well, right now there are two votes for booth two and one for booth one. I thought the decision would, had, been, had to be unanimous. Okay, we'll do it like this. Let's all have a second look at all the candidates here. It's about half an hour we compare our notes and decide which one is the best. Okay? Okay, boss. Sure thing, boss. Great. Okay, wait. That's confused me. Cause I, can I, I can't just put my fucking thing in there, can I? <laughs> Imagine you Hey, could you just dispose of this real quick? Oh, excuse me. Hello there, young man. Have you been enjoying the exhibition? Uh, yeah, I certainly have. Splendid. You see, I'm one of the judges for the Best Presentation Award. It's good for me to know what people think about the presentations. Uh, um, I don't like flat logo types. I don't. I want them to look like a 3D object. Do you like being a judge? Of course. I always volunteer the first chance I get. My real job is untangible coat hangers here in the exhibition entrance hall. Cool, I'll see you later. I'm trying to think, where can I... Can I not just go straight to the hangers here? Or the boxes? Oh! Really? Oh, hi. Got a little backstage area. Hi again. Really? You just <laughs> okay, but how do I? Wait, how how do I? How do I put the thing in the thing? Oh wait, disruption. Oh 
Oh my god. Can I not just like... Uh... Welcome, sir. You're perhaps an investor interested in the future of something remarkable. Sorry, but I'm not an investor. Oh, it's too bad. Some help with this project. Oh, I get it now. Wait, I'm gonna skip this. Oh, really? I thought I could just like drop the box and it would work, but no. There isn't a way I can craft it together, is there? For all space fleet officers. <laughs> just wow, there's so much on the back of that, man. Um, so how this is actually such a stupid question, but how do I fucking put shit in a box, like? Your man's coming back there. The judges. It's probably, like, really simple, and I'm just not thinking of it, like. Because he wants that, but I need to... Oh, wait, do I need to... Dr Maybe I need to drop it in, like, when I'm up in the VIP area or something like that. Because it's out from view. Damn, man. Oh, yeah, that's where it is, just up here. Okay, but why can't I'm actually I'm, I'm losing my mind here. My head's also starting to ache a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, and I think it's because of the heat. Like, sunshine. Oh, you're not going to take the ball? <laughs> Here, take this. Uh, special, I'm not sure. Uh, it's our very first product equipped with ever battery. What to do is guess the number of balls inside this glass tube. Take a guess and enter the number into the computer over there. It's just a big tube filled with ball. Oh, wow. Thank you for looking. It's not working. <laughs> what is not working? I mean... Oh, wait. There's one... He said there was one, right? So, it's 299. Oh, that wasn't right, I'm afraid. Tresmate. What? <coughs> ha? Oh, wait, there's someone. The okay, wait. One, two, three. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck off. They're not in multiple places, are they? I actually need to look around, I think, to see if I find any balls. Like. Oh, that is so fucking shit, man. <laughs> Just like. Can I. Right, I need to search high and low. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's, I can't do maths. Wait, 296. I swear if it's not 296, I'm gonna, What? Are you kidding? Who else has the fucking balls, like? Is there, like, some hiding somewhere? You don't mind if I just take a look through this, do you? 
Uh, okay, just, just just casually grab some chill pills. <laughs> I go on, break the morals, just take more, like. Okay, wait, no, I, I'm I'm so convinced that I have to take thing. Okay, so wait, there's one ball there. There, wait, there isn't any more like just back here, is there? Wait, no, 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 no. Actually, I changed my mind. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Nah. I'm trying to think, like, where else the balls are. Unless, like, some of the other... Oh, wait, some of the other people probably pick them up, right? So, uh, 296, right? Wait, there we go. Actually, wait, I'll say no to him. Unless I'm, like, missing a ball that's, like, up here. Hmm. Okay, so there's 300 there. Oh, wait. 90 fucking 5. I didn't count the one in the box, like. Please just be it. 295. I hate myself so much. Oh, congratulations! You got it completely right. Fantastic. Here, let me get your prize. Here you are. Your own brand new Ever Teddy. It's an amazing product. It is powered with a state-of-the-art power cell and consumes an extremely small amount of energy. The battery in this pair will last at least a few generations. It'll probably outlive your grandchildren. Huh, thanks I guess. Okay, but can I actually finally drop the box at all? I kind of thought doing all that would actually be useful, but I guess not. Dun, 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 dun. Charms on the outside are both pointing to the center of the pad. I'm just trying to think, like, is there something I'm meant to do? Oh yeah, take out battery. There we go. <laughs> I had to rip off its head to get my hands on the battery. Oh wait, hold on. Really? Can I not... Uh, so where's this energy to see a demonstration again? So what happens to the garbage? Uh, it's divided into pure energy. We can just second increase surrounding total energy and calculate the much as energy matter. Uh, can I try? Of course. Cubes and step into the chamber. Oh wait, shit, wait. Great. Now, just hold out the uh, the prayers of ignore your clothes and items. Ah. Uh, Wait, this is bad. What if it deletes, like, the fucking bomb? There. Everything is set. Start the garbage disposal. You see? Only garbage is gone. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. I'm gonna get rich. I didn't lose anything, did I? Imagine if I did! That'd be so gas, like. I'm trying to think what I can do. So, I'm so confused, I'm... I 
I honestly kind of want to pack it in for today. My, my brain's too fried for this. Oh. Just an empty box. Okay, but can I put anything into the empty box? Hi again. Oh wait, so I might I think I'm just waiting for him to leave, right? Maybe that's when I'm able to actually like throw in the thing. Dun 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 Okay, yeah, you have you already have empty Okay, and I have the box, it's named that, but what do you want me to do with it to, like bruh? I can't just Okay, your man's gone again. What what do I do? Should I maybe I should walk with him next time? <laughs> yeah, just see what happens, like dun 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 Okay. I'm seriously so confused. Maybe I uh, to be fair I haven't done that. Hello. Oh hi there, stranger, what can I do for you? What are you doing? I was talking to you. Oh, how rude of me. I'm so sorry, sir, but I'm a bit busy right now. Hello. Uh, hi, do I know you? No, I don't think so. Oh, excuse me then. I'm in the middle of a conversation. Cool. Weirdo. I hope the presentation will start soon. Oh, hi. Don't you love these exhibitions? I sure do. Yeah, isn't it great? All the new things you can get to see and, of course, all the free stuff you can take. What free stuff? Oh, you don't know? They're giving away free samples of freeze pills over at BioFreeze. They're actually quite tasty. And the guys at Sunshine are particularly giving away a free Ever Teddy. All you have to do is guess the correct number of balls in the tube they have. <laughs> How many balls are there? Ha, <laughs> that's no fun. You'll have to figure it out by yourself. It's very easy. Well, see you around. So they're basically just telling me shit, like... Yeah, no, and I can't answer anyone else. Oh, is there a problem? Hello again. Uh, yeah, but I left at home. Sorry, man. Had to let you in or to see thing. <laughs> a bomb. Wait, so I seriously can't just yeah. It's probably something simple, like, that I'm just not- Oh my god. <sighs> what am I not- what, what am I actually not seeing? It's actually annoying me. Like, can I seriously not just, like, do this? And then it's like, oh look, empty box, uh-huh. And then I try to give you this, and it's like, oh, no, hey. And I already tried to do this, but like it just won't let me. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just so lost. <laughs> Can I seriously not just shove that in there? I, again, I'm so confused. Like, what, what the fuck do they want me to do? Unless I'm meant to, like... So, yeah, no, that didn't work. The power cell's a bit too good to just throw away. And he keeps, like, walking away, which means, like, 
there probably is something I can do. I'm just not able to see it. Hmm. I actually, I seriously have no clue. It's just, oh, bruh, brain cells are low capacity right now, and my patience is wearing really thin. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try and go back up to VIP, have a look around. If there's nothing up there, I'm going to go do thing. Because I don't think... Wait. Nah. I don't think we're meant to, um... Do thing. Like, I don't think we're meant to start the show until... Actually, you know what, fuck it. We have a save spot anyway. Yeah, start the show. Uh, I'm finally ready up here. Enjoy the show. Thank you. So amazing. I think I will enjoy this show. Oh, no. If we may have everyone's attention, please. The main presentation is about the blast off over at the main stage. For your information and general safety, we would like to notify you that the exhibition floor will be darkened during the show. Without further ado, please join us at the main stage. Yeah, I think I've skipped the thing now. Please welcome to the stage, Product Design President uh, for Pi Space Research Corporation, Ephrosia Pure. Hi everyone, what a show we have planned for you. I'm so happy to see that so many have turned up for this. This year, we at Pi Space Research Corp have something really exciting to show you, and we think you're gonna like it. Biological as well as mechanical life forms have always had the thirst for adventure. To see the unseen, touch the untouched, or just travel further than they ever had done before. The size of the universe has been a problem since we first started to reach out into space. Sure, there are some solutions out there, but they all have restrictions and some with doubtful environmental effects. We all know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I guess the representatives from Spacegate missed the invitation. Today I want to show you the future. Are you ready for the future? Feeling stuck. No time for regular transports. We have the solution for you. Upper Space Gates. Wow, that was amazing. Not bad, right? What you see here next to me is the brand new Upper Space Transport prototype engine. This here is technology we could have only dreamt of about 10 years ago. But this is not all. To demonstrate this amazing piece of equipment for you, let's get those blaster da drapes up and please shift... Wow, bro, my head just fucked up on that sentence. Let's get those blaster drapes up and please shift your attention out the windows. I want to, for the first time in history, show it to you in action. Incredible stuff, people. You have just witnessed the first public jump with the brand new upper space engine. This is all we have to show for now. Oh, I almost forgot. There's just one more thing. Due to our successful demonstration, we are launching a public transportation hub with fresh new upper space technology. Today. Yeah. And, did I mention that all its services 
are completely free of charge? That's right. Today we open our service for jumps inside this sector, but the plan is to extend the reach of the hub to other sectors in just a year or so. You're all welcome to go travel to our brand new hub right now if you want to try it out. That was all folks, thank you. Okay, see this is the problem, right? This isn't in, in other sectors. So I'm not going to allow this to happen now, so... Load. Um, it wouldn't be that, would it? It'd be this one. Yeah, it'd be this one, because that's just saved there. Oh god, I just realised how far back I'm going to be, though. Um, I need to... 295. And I need to steal a bunch of pills, I think, yeah. I need to steal the pills as well. Yay, I'm a winner! How how did I guess that? No way. <laughs> ah, just take a little. 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 Okay, so... Boxes, right? Okay, I might as well just go to the overview and do this, because I think I, yeah, I run a lot faster in the overview. Empty packages, they're all labeled backstage area. Um, okay, I don't want you to be here, though. Poor Teddy. Lissy did nothing to deserve that, like. Okay, you're gonna leave. I, I kind of need you to leave. Are you seriously not leaving? Can I have one of those, please? Oh, what? I'm sorry, but these aren't mine. I'm just working here. Move all these packages backstage for the main show. Uh... See you later. Okay, maybe I need to question uh, a bomb. How am, am I actually this dumb that I don't know how to fucking pack something into a box like? Okay, look, we'll take the thing in. Just take one of these. Cool. Now what? Because, like, he's not going to take that empty. I can't just do that. Unless, like... Sure, help me. I'm stupid. Well, proceeding with not accepting to blow up the exhibition would have been a great start. It's not an option, is it? You need to trash this presentation coming up. Use the bomb to sabotage it some other way. Just do what you have to do. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, wait, so what do I do here? I'm so confused on like, do I do something now whilst he's gone or like, cause like, yeah, he's coming back now. Like, I don't know. Yeah, no, I think it's best I just leave it there before I fucking fry my brain on so like such a simple little puzzle that's probably not even that hard to do, like. Yeah, I wanna quit. I just I wanna quit the game. My brain too small. Can't figure it out. Not today. Right. Um I don't I, I most likely will be streaming tomorrow and I'll probably stream on Monday as well, because like on Monday I'm actually off because it's a bank holiday. Um so yeah, other than that, hopefully we'll be continuing to captain the next day. Obviously, if you like the stream, make sure to follow for more. Other than that, if you're watching on YouTube as a VOD, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, thank you again so much for watching, and goodbye.